Hi, welcome to our video on rectangular and triangular prisms. We're focusing on volume. So first we talk about 2D shapes, because that's where this all starts. And we know a lot about rectangles, and we know about area. So we have 2D area. Whenever we take that chunk, the 2D area, and we multiply it by a height, we get 3D. We get volume, which is really exciting. So this is the rectangle right here. And to find the area of this rectangle, I just take a, a length, right? I don't know, this length down here, whatever it is, times this height right here, or width, whatever you want to call it. Let's call it width for now. So length times width, I multiply that out, and I get this area. So for a rectangle, length times width is area. And then I think many of us have started to realize that if you take that, and you multiply it by a third dimension, height, you get volume. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. But length by, by width by height is the volume of not just a rectangle, but a rectangular prism. So a rectangular prism. And that's all you have to do is multiply the three dimensions. Now, if you want to find a triangular prism, all you really do is take the length times the width times the height. This is for a triangular prism. Tri I'm going to write triangle prism because I get really tired of writing triangular over and over again. So length times width times height, all that stuff, and I cut it in half. I divide by two. And that equals the volume of a rectangular prism. And I'll show you a picture of this, but, but the idea connects back to the, our fun rectangles and our triangles, right? This triangle right here, if I put it inside this rectangle, there it is, it fills half the rectangle. It fills half of it. So the volume of this triangle, the volume of this triangle, it equals one half the volume of the rectangle. That's a really important idea that really extends nicely into 3D. So this triangle, again, it's half the rectangle. So the same thing happens in our 3D land. In 3D land over here, if we have a rectangle, a rectangle is a totally flat shape, right? And it, there it is right there, and it, it kind of looks like maybe a parallelogram, but if I orbit around it, it's a completely <laughs> flat shape. Um, so there it is completely flat has no height whatsoever and it disappears. It has zero height, has no height whatsoever. But when you take a length and a width and you multiply it by a height, you kind of take it and I, and I think about, you know, you pull it up, right, through three dimensions, right? So this is a rectangular prism. It's a length times a width times a height. And I'll show that again. When you multiply by height, you take length times width and you give it a third dimension. And what's going on here is that you're really giving this shape a bunch of layers. So I'm gonna color this shape in with my brick tool over here and give it some layers so you can see what I mean. All right, so if I just color this in and I zoom in a little bit, all right, you can see that it's just stacks and stacks and stacks of layers of rectangles over and over and over again. And each of those rectangles has a certain height, like one foot, one inch, whatever. And that's a rectangular prism. But wait a minute, what about a triangular prism? What do we do? Well, that's where we start to carve out our shape. And let me show you what I mean. And this is what you're going to do today. You're going to carve this shape out. But let me go back to one of my favorite colors of all time, which is pink, and repaint the faces. So now we have a rectangular prism. And you want to carve it. You want to make one cut somewhere from one end point to the other. I'm going to choose this end point over here because it looks lonely. So I'm going to carve it right here. And now imagine that that line represents the one cut I'm going to make through this shape. And when I do that, if I, you can almost see it right now, right? There's one triangle, there's the other, right? There's my square cut in half. Same thing with the triangular prism. I take the volume and cut it in half, and I have a triangular prism, and there it is, right? If I pull that away, right, here's a rectangle prism, and divide it in half, if I cut it, I form this cool shape, which is a triangular prism. So a triangular prism is just half of a rectangular prism. That's all it is, and that's the idea we're going to explore today.